In September 2017, just two months before the Gujarat Assembly polls, Prime Minister Narendra Modi and his then Japanese counterpart Shinzo Abe laid the foundation stone of the ambitious 508-kilometer Mumbai Ahmedabad bullet train project in Ahmedabad. Over five years later, as the Western state gears up for another assembly election, the 348-kilometer Gujarat stretch of the project has gathered speed, with teams of engineers and workers working round the clock in shifts to make up for time lost mainly on account of land acquisition issues and the pandemic. The rupees 1.08 lakh crore project is based on the same technology as Shinkansen, the Japanese bullet train, but modified to suit Indian conditions. The train will run at 320 km per hour and cover the 508 km distance in under 3 hours. While a major portion of the corridor, 348 km falls in Gujarat, 156 km falls in Maharashtra and 4 km in Dadra and Nagar Haveli. The print visited the bullet train project sites at Sabarmati, Anand, Surat and Navsari in October to see the work happening on the ground. Our first stop was Sabarmati, where a multimodal transport hub is being developed. Says the bullet train on the Mumbai Ahmedabad corridor will terminate here. The multimodal hub being developed will connect the high speed rail corridor to the existing Sabarmati railway station, the metro station, and the bus rapid transit system. I am standing at the Sabarmati multimodal hub, which is part of the high speed rail corridor project, which is being built by India. This will be India's first bullet train project linking Ahmedabad to Mumbai. This Sabarmati multimodal hub is a nerve center of the bullet train project. It will connect the high speed rail corridor to the Sabarmati railway station of the Indian railways, which you can see on my uh, left side and the metro rail uh, line on the right side. Passengers traveling on the bullet train project can use the Sabarmati hub to connect to the railway line and the metro line and go to their destination. The Sabarmati high speed railway station that is being developed will be the origin point of the bullet train project. From here, the train will go to Mumbai. The 508 kilometer distance will be uh, covered in 2 hours 5 minutes if there are no stoppages. Currently, work is underway on three foot over bridges, which will connect the hub to the metro, BRTS, and railway station. While the completion of the Sabarmati terminal station will take time, work on the hub is nearing finalization. About 90% of work is over. Project officials at the site said that it will be ready by February 2023. The multimodal hub has been designed to cater to 1.5 lakh footfalls daily. From Sabarmati, we went to one of the casting yards of the high speed rail corridor at Anand. The basic foundation structure of the high speed corridor, like the girders, are cast here. Close to 6,000 workers are working round the clock in shifts on the Anand section. We are standing here with Mr. Pradeep Ahirkar, Chief Project Manager of the National High Speed Rail Corridor Project at Anand Casting Yard. Welcome to the print, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Sir, can you uh, tell, tell us what's happening here uh, and what is the status of the work at this site, Anand? Presently, you are, uh, you are standing in C6 package of this MHSR project. This is 87 kilometers long. And uh, in this stretch, we have already completed around 73 kilometers of foundation, 45 kilometers of pile cap and 35 kilometers of piers already constructed in this section. The construction of foundation and substructure, it is done at site, at the location only. But over this, the girders, the girders are uh, being constructed in casting yards. So we are standing near Anand casting yards. We'll be constructing almost 734 girders. So we have already started the work. How much stretch would it cover? Uh, this uh, 734 girders would cover 29 kilometers of stretch. Okay, and we have already constructed uh, almost uh, 60 uh, girders here and uh, already launched uh, almost 38 girders here. So work is in uh, progress and uh, uh, all these works are uh, being carried out with so many sophisticated machines. Like straddle carrier is there, then bridge gantry is there, and you can see behind us uh, launching gantry is there. 
so this is the most important uh, machinery as far as uh, launching of girder is concerned just uh, after some time uh, you can see it will launch one girder over this gap of piers as you said these are like highly sophisticated equipments so all these are indian made only all these uh, machineries are indian made and uh, they are performing at par with any any international machine currently as we speak how many workers are uh, working at the anand casting yard uh, in anand casting yards uh, almost 1500 laborers are working and in the in this whole stretch almost uh, 6000 workers are working they are working around the clock in shifts we have already commissioned all the machineries and we have already started uh, our work although it is initial uh, initial phase and uh, learning curve is there but uh, now the the construction is going on well and uh, we will complete uh, this work within time in this whole uh, uh, civil side uh, civil construction site was the most complex part this foundation and substructure it is uh, it is constructed at, at the location only so it is uh, means old practice not much uh, although we have done with the sophisticated steel shuttering all this work quality work is done here but the most important part is casting of girder and launching of girder to cast uh, quality construction that is first uh, major challenge then second is launching of this girder this uh, launching entry is the most critical part it is in critical phase and uh, this uh, launching entry the front legs are uh, putting their legs on the uh, one pier so this this phase is the most important phase launching of uh, girder by launching entry Among the more complex construction underway on the Gujarat stretch currently are the bridge structures over four perennial rivers Tapi, Narmada, Mahi and Sabarmati. The print visited once a site in Surat where a bridge for the bullet train corridor is coming up on Tapi River. We are standing on the Tapi River at Surat. You can see behind me work going on on the Tapi River where a bridge is being built over which the bullet train will run. The Gujarat stretch of the bullet train project covers 348 kilometers and on the entire stretch four river comes Tapi Mahi Narmada and Sabarmati bridges are being built over all the four rivers where work is underway the Narmada bridge will be the longest in the Gujarat stretch its length is approximately 1.2 km on the Tapi river the bridge that is being built is 720 meters Building a bridge on a river is a complex process due to the presence of weathered sedimentary rock with clay layers in between but engineers and workers overcame these challenges and are going ahead full steam to erect the bridge over which the bullet train will run at surat a diamond shaped railway station is also coming up a nod to the city's moniker as india's diamond city the station is coming up on a 43500 square meter land work is picking pace here with 35% work completed so far there will be eight stations on the gujarat stretch at vapi bilimora bharuj vadodara anand ahmedabad sabarmati and surat all are in various stages of construction with surat's bullet station not far from completion from surat we travel to navsari casting yard gigantic machines mostly indigenous are at work at the casting yard take the straddle carrier for instance manufactured at project contractor larson and tubros kanchipuram plant in chennai they come with 80 huge tires 20 axles and can lift a load of approximately 1100 metric tons they are being used to shift the girders from one location to another then there is a bridge gantry which lifts the girder from the ground and places it on top of the girder transporter the huge machine performs the most important task of shifting girder from the bridge gantry to the launching gantry the launching gantry then lifts the girder from girder transporter and launches it over the piers it's only after all the girders are placed on the pier and tested that work on laying the tracks can start so far 100 km of pier work has been completed on the gujarat stretch of the bullet train corridor about 9.3 km viaduct has also been completed while it might still be some time before the entire 508 km stretch is commissioned the trial run 
of the first phase, a 50-kilometer stretch between Surat and Bilimora near Nafsari in Gujarat, has been set for August 2026. This is Moshumi Das Gupta reporting for the print from Nafsari in Gujarat. <laughs>